sorry about that, babe. Back in the dungeon, heading to the... Fuck, what was it? <laughs> Cave of... Courage. Yeah, it's been about, I don't know, five or six days since I last played because I went on a little vacation. And then the other night I took a little bit of a break. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm pretty fucking tired right now still. I uh, got that post-vacation hangover, I guess, but... Um, what else is there to do but grab life by the horns? And just go back into the dungeon, you know what I mean? We got things to kill, things to, to loot, and things to prove. I'm already not liking the start here. <laughs> so basically, I believe that uh, in order to get to the next cave, it's pretty much by the entrance of the last one. There's like a wall or something that opens up. And obviously you could... Oh my fucking god, the encounters. You could pretty much assume that, um, you know, the enemies are going to take another step up, obviously, because this is during the, the trial period, if you will. We already passed the Cave of Strength. I also know that I could sell my, uh, my dwarf key after this area. Also, did I fucking equip all my new stuff? Yeah, I did, okay. <clears throat> so as soon as we see the stairs, uh... To the Cave of Strength, we pretty much just go... What would technically be west of it. Uh... yeah. So it should be here? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> As always, the uh, the sconces basically tell you where you're going, right? Ah, shit. I forgot I wanted to kill the other things. Because they know uh, magic. <clears throat> Alright, we got bailed out there, I guess. Bailed out. I think it's this way, right? Oh, it's fine. Razor should kill him anyway. Of course we're caught by surprise. Please don't put our shit to sleep. Please, please, please don't put us to sleep. Damn it. Alright, at least it didn't affect Razor or Milo. That's all that really matters, I guess. Yes, so we're finally at the, <laughs> the Cave of Courage. Um, i trying to think where we started here. I feel like... That... Oh, yeah, 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 you know what? I remember this place. I Yeah, it does some weird... I don't know, it's tough to explain. Oh, the Clodhopper. <clears throat> Fuck, I did it again. I forgot to attack the goddamn ooze. Oh, boy. Yep. This might get a little hairy. Good thing, obviously, we know. Various uh, healing spells. Oof. This is not good. Okay. You guys can stop whenever you want. Alright. This might be a, uh, a two-tripper. 
Especially since we're probably gonna go for all the loot. Oh my god, thank you. The only positive is all the gold and all the experience. Yeah, it's gonna be definitely a little bit tougher down here. So I think directly down is a dead end, and then I think that we're able to use... Um, hmm. Able to use the dwarf keys on uh, these two locked doors to start. Come on, man. Might be in my best interest to try to run next fight, just to kind of get a, a, a gauge on what can I and can I not run from, you know? Alright, so this is the first way. Um, I think for the most part... Well... Hmm, it's actually tough to say. I think I'm gonna explore this to a point. Um, I'm just looking at my old maps here. I think this is ultimately the way to get out of here. But there's still quite a bit of other things to find on the other side. Um, but this way has a lot more treasure, so... I will go this way first. Damn, six of these guys. Come on, fucking Pyra. Yo, what the hell? God damn. Um, yeah. Yep, okay, cool. Wisdom seed. Uh, obviously, guys, not the greatest uh, item, but. Also, not the best. Uh, <laughs> cave navigation there by me either. Yikes. So we're gonna head through one of those like annoying ass areas uh, where you lose a lot of magic by stepping. So I'm probably gonna leave here early. You know, obviously so I don't get completely fucked. What are we at right now? We're okay. All right, I'm gonna use my wisdom seed. Get my bearings. All right, so we're heading west, so that's good. Yeah. There we go, sconces. Going the right way. Um, down here should be a chest. Hopefully. 50 gold, I'll take it. <clears throat> Focus my attacks on the oozes. Hill Razor after this fight. <sighs> I'm 
trying to think about what to do here exactly, because if I go the way of the MP drainage, uh, it leads me to a bunch of treasure chests. Again, I don't remember if there's any like chest beaks in there or whatever. Um, I could also go a few other ways, but I'm a little concerned because I can't remember if there's a boss down here or not. You know what I mean? But I think I could loot like, what is it? Like one, probably like seven or eight chests if I go a certain direction. So you know what? Oh, what do we got? I don't remember these guys. What are these? Side block. Let's see. That didn't do much. That did nothing at all. 21 points of damage. Great. I guess as long as he's attacking Razor. <laughs> hey, Pyra leveled up. Nice. I'd like to learn Freeze too. Nope. Okay. Anyway, I was so rudely interrupted there. I think immediately to my right would be the beginning of the uh, poison areas, if you will. But there are a few chests that I could easily get to going in this direction that I want to get to first. I feel like ultimately, I could actually like skip this whole area, but I just want to loot stuff, you know what I mean? Again, I don't have anything marked down on my maps as far as like what's where, but I, I have most of the chests marked down. I'm hoping, hoping it's good stuff and not a waste of my time, but you know, at the end of the day, I guess it's kind of, you know, just further exploration no matter what. But I'm pretty sure the end goal is actually over here. Mentally just turned myself around. I th think we're okay. Just want to make sure I'm. I want to make sure I'm going south. Which I am. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then I would want to go here, I believe. Yep. The poison, not the greatest loot, but still loot nonetheless. Got some really good RNG there, actually. With no, uh, a lot of nothing going on. Um... Running out of inventory space, which isn't great. I guess I could still hold on to it. I mean, I still have three slots, right? So, could be worse. Of course, caught by surprise. That's enough, that's overkill. So I don't really want to go further this way. Now I want to go through the uh, the shitty area that I was trying to basically avoid earlier. Alright, so let me think here. Uh, yeah, if I go to my left, I'm pretty sure I advance my way out of here, which again, I don't really want to do right now. My goal is essentially this. I want to go through the magic drain area first. I want to retreat. Uh, and then I want to go back to the right side using the dwarf key. Well, technically it would be south. But there was another dwarf key door that I did not open and I want to explore that area. Because there's a decent amount of shit down there. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, 
Hey, at least we one cycle them now. That's easy. Easy peasy. Alright, now let's use this again just to make sure I, where I want to be. Uh, yeah, I'm good. So I'm going to go down. Yeah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. I know where we are. The main reason that we're gonna have to retreat is we're gonna lose so much MP that it's like almost impossible for me to get through here unscathed. But, you know, pretty much knock off fucking, I don't know, like a third of the map. So, could be worse. Plus, if I level up, I wouldn't complain, you know? There we go. Just gotta talk to it. Only one defense, though. Kind of blows. Alright. Okay. This could be an annoying fight, but luckily it's only them and not other uh, enemies. <clears throat> So we're gonna head down this other way. Before I do that, I might want to top off my heels. I gotta think about it. Nice, Milo leveled up as well. Learned burst. There's our our best friend. All right, what are we looking at here? I might as well. Probably do low level heals and top off, right? Did that full heal me? Eh, close enough. Kind of terrible, right? Look at all that MP gun, man. Oof. Awful. Damn it. It's funny, that area seems so, like, big, you know, with all the, uh, the MP drain, uh, tiles. But this area coming up is even longer. <clears throat> But once we get out of there, it's pretty smooth sailing to the uh, treasure chest, whatever they hold. It's a mystery to me at this moment, but uh, after I finish looting those, I could just use my angel feather or wing. Still can't remember what it's called. I'm liking how we're getting caught by surprise, too, all the time. Ah, oh, fucking great. By liking it, I mean I'm not liking it at all, obviously. Fucking stupid. Dude, magic, like, fucking sucks, huh? Man, Blaze and fucking Freeze are so good in Shining Force. <laughs> I'm like trying to remember now, like, <clears throat> does attack magic get stronger than what I'm fucking using, or...? Does Razor stay paralyzed? He does. Okay, so I'm gonna have to use... Oops. Oh shit, because Razor's paralyzed? Oh, I can't even use... 
Well, smelling salts works, right? There we go. Well, I hope I don't get fucking surprised anymore by those enemies, man. Yeah, I forgot when you're paralyzed, you can't even use your items and nobody else can use them either. It actually kind of really sucks. <laughs> that is not good. Speak of the devils. Great. <clears throat> Oops. Oh, there's another angel feather. I don't have to buy one then. Woven robe. I have that already, right? Hold up. Oh, wait a minute. A woven robe. Which one is that? Oh, okay, the woven robe is that one. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure that's not an upgrade, but something I could sell. And, uh, cash is king. So. Dude, I knew it was sooner or later, right? <clears throat> yeah. Does he always fall out like that? Like I said, it's been like fucking six days in between recording sessions, so possible. Just didn't notice it. Might as well, uh, continue to heal. <clears throat> Pyra has been, you know, knock on wood. Ooh, boy. It's gonna say relatively unscathed, uh... Great! The sleep barely did anything. And I somehow was not able to fucking attack? Are you kidding, dude? Watch me get fucked here. Can I run from this? Oh, this is the type of fucking battle I want to run from, man. <clears throat> That's bullshit. The fucking paralyzed people should have not even had a chance to do anything to me. The fact that- yeah, what is with this crap, dude? I'm like rolling terrible with my fucking RNG here. Just straight up missing people. Zero damage across the board. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, wait a minute. Isn't that the same weapon I already have? Fuck. Yeah, I already have a Morning Star. Well, again, I could sell it, right? Ooh, okay, chill. Anyway, we got one more treasure chest to loot before I'm leaving. Gotta heal Razor here. <clears throat> Should be down here. Under gold. <clears throat> All right. No. Let's use this. 
Got a couple things to sell. Uh, Weapon-wise, I think I'm alright. I think it's like armor that I'm really in the need for. And we have another uh, retreat item, so I don't need that anymore. So we'll to buy one at the Alchemist anyway. Let's see. Sell the woven robe. And we'll sell the other morning star. <clears throat> Now, let's see how much gold we have. I mean, I didn't really go, like, too crazy in there, so it's very possible that, uh... I don't have enough, but yes, I do. I do have enough. To buy myself a leather armor. I could also buy myself the chainmail, actually. Hmm. Let's buy the leather armor. Wait, I gotta make sure Milo's not already wearing that, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> Oh, that's right. He's not. I could pass it to him, though. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll sell the fur robe. No. No, we're gonna back out. <clears throat> Item. Give that to Milo. Item. Equip. Perfect. And then we're gonna do... We're gonna go in here and buy the chainmail for... Razor. And now I need to think... <sighs> what do we got shield-wise here? Alright, 700, so I can buy a shield. I could afford the bronze helm as well for a razor. So let me pop back out of the shop once more. Alright, so we already have the leather shield for him. Alright, so I could sell the leather shield and I think upgrade. And then if I sell the leather helm, I could probably upgrade the helmet as well. And that could be a decent um, amount of upgrades across the board for a short trip, you know? So let's sell the leather helm. Yes. And let's sell this. I mean, that already paid more than half of one thing, basically, so. So let's buy the. Oh, no, 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 no. Buy the bronze helm. Okay, that's a razor. And then... 700, right? And that should leave me with enough money to rest at the inn. I think. <laughs> I hope. Let's... Go ahead and put all this shit on. 74, I'll take it. <clears throat> and for you, Morning Star, Leather Armor, Bronze Shield, and Woven Hound, or uh, Woven Hood, excuse me. Okay, and just to verify once more, we still have a retreat item. I think I'll give uh, the poison to you. Perfect. And now let's go rest at the inn. Obviously save at the priest and head back in. And then I think we're gonna go to the other side of the dungeon. 
Although, now that I'm thinking about it, can we get there no matter which way we go? I think you can, but for the sake of it, I'll just go to the other side. Why not? I'm pretty sure it all inter uh, interconnects. Excuse me. I'm like literally in a coma right now. I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> <clears throat> My goal tonight basically is to get through this and then I'll probably call it a night as soon as I do. But for the most part, we've explored more than half of it and we uh, upgraded a ton, so I'm pretty, uh, pretty confident that we'll be all right. <laughs> Again, I'll just fight everything that's in my way, why not? Obviously we're getting peanuts from slimes at this point, but... You never know. Could be an instance of uh, complete upgrades across the board for weapons and armor. And fuck, you could be five gold short or something and one of these fights could have... Uh, given you a full heal at the inn, you know? I wonder how much money you get for the Dwarf's Key. Cause like I said, I'm pretty sure you could ditch it after this. What if I try to run here? Oh, it worked. Okay. Well, I'll be damned. Um, I don't think I'll be able to run from this. Enough with the no damage hits, dude. Give me a break. Fucking here we go. Goodness, dude. Oh my god, wait, did I go the wrong way? <laughs> I think I went the wrong way. Oh my god, I gotta use my uh my pyra fucking spell. I thought I was going the right way. Where the hell am I going? Wait a minute. I did go the right way. Is the Kaiser Crab a random encounter? I guess it must be, right? Because uh, over here was the entrance and then this was the part of the wall that was... Yeah, I was going the right way, so I wasn't going crazy. I guess that's the uh, consolation prize. I'm not losing my sanity. Shoot, I gotta charge my, uh... I gotta charge my phone so I can actually browse the reddits before I go to bed. Doing that shit on the fly, how about that? Oh my god, just giving me the gauntlet here before, uh... I get back into the goddamn cave. I'm always hesitant to run from the battles that have five plus enemies because it's like, you know, if you don't get it successfully, you can get fucked up. Plus, battles like this, relatively easy overall. And as you can see, 81-102. I mean, that's a pretty good, pretty good fucking yield. I do say so myself. Alright, now this is fucking annoying. I'm gonna try to run. I was gonna say, worst case scenario, they just put me to sleep and then they don't really do anything. You know what I mean? Holy moly, this fucking place. I'm not even back in the uh, Cave of Courage, which is the most fucked up part. <clears throat> Uh, 
Fucking finally. Alright. Let's just do a low level heal on Razor to top him off. And let's continue on here. So let's pop up Pyra's shit to make sure I'm going the other way. Yeah, I'd want to go uh, left and down. Mm-hmm. And then after I unlock the door, if uh, I see a very, very long hallway, then I know I'm going the right way. Fucking hell, dude. Come on. should be heading down a long hallway which I am and I believe that this branch is off to a set of stairs which I think I want to take where am I <laughs> all right so I went downstairs somewhere I'm um, trying to remember if Did this bring me to where I actually want it to be? I think it does. I think that it's the stairwell that connects you ultimately to where you want to go in this area. I think so. Right? Let's pop Pyrus shit. Make sure that I didn't just go in circles. Um. Yes. I am where I want to be. I want to go up and around and then ultimately down and into an alcove, I'm pretty sure. I think I have to fight like a mini boss. I don't want to jinx it, guys, but I haven't gotten any like random encounters. Here we go. Yeah, I remember this thing. That's right. We're basically fully healed. Wait, no, that's an egg, right? Oh, it hatches. Yes, yes, yes. Right? I think it's like an enemy? Yeah, yeah, okay. It's actually pretty cool. Um... I could try putting it to sleep. Can't hurt. Probably won't work. Eh, didn't think so, but... 14? That's not bad. We'll probably fuck this thing up. Let's just go all out attack. Well, quick certainly doesn't help. <laughs> and heal doesn't help either. What the fuck, dude? Two turns in a row? Are you kidding? Actually kind of whack. Uh, maybe I'll do quick on Razor and then yeah, I'll try to put you to sleep again. Man, the double attacks though. Try burst, maybe? And then I don't know about you. I guess we'll try freeze. Fucking damn it. We gotta start doing more damage if it keeps healing itself like that, you know what I mean? Oh, what? How much HP did that thing have? Like 40? <laughs> nice, dude. We got the Orb of Truth. I think that was like the main thing that we needed down here. Well, uh, actually, let's do heal too. Oops, just went the wrong way. That's fucking great. All right, so now we gotta backtrack around some stairs. Are there like no random encounters there? Almost has me thinking, you know. All right, I'll debunk that theory.
So realistically now the rest of this floor is me exploring and getting a few chests and then I think I I know where the exit is. I think I passed uh, by the spot where the exit would be on the other side. The only issue is, is there's a couple more chests that are around... Whatchamacall. I did not press that, by the way. <laughs> Whatsoever. That extra right press on my D-pad did not actually happen. I don't know how I spun around in circles like that, but okay. But since I don't have anything marked as far as what the specific loot is, I can't remember. There's like one treasure chest that's by a lot of that green fucking bullshit, and I don't remember if it's like a troll or not, you know what I mean? I'm scared. I don't want to pass it up, but... Uh, I also don't want to lose all my MP, you know? I like how it says it ducks behind its shield. The uh, sprite doesn't have anything close. Oh my fucking god. To resembling a shield. No, oh, that's no good. I didn't fucking. Uh, well, as you say, I didn't kill any of them, but luckily none of them attacked, so. Alright, well, that's good. Can I get freeze too, please? Thank you. And slow to, and we learned bolt. Holy fucking level up, Batman. That was some good fucking shit. I do say so myself. Alright, let's continue on in this fucking place. <clears throat> Alright, please don't do that. Gonna have to heal Pyre after this. Not too big of a deal, obviously, but... I'm actually happy that it's loading up on a Pyra. Makes things a little bit easier for me. Alright. Also, everybody else probably gonna level up soon as well. Passing that. Want to make sure I'm going south. Which I am. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, we're actually on a pretty good beeline to get out of here, I, I think. I mean, even if the one place that I think is like a, you know, the exit, even if it's not an exit, for the most part I've explored everything, it doesn't really matter too much. There's a treasure chest that's locked behind a gate that's similar to like the one that we saw earlier, but I'm pretty sure that requires another key that's not the dwarf key. So it's really like, doesn't really matter in a sense, right? Um, all right, if I am going, West? Yeah, that's what I want to do. There's some chests over here. Unfortunately, there's some green bullshit as well. Just not... Not thrilled about it, but... Luckily, it's only a few tiles. So we do not, I repeat, do not want to go down those green tiles. Because it is a dead troll end that sucks away a lot of your MP. We only want to step on a few that we have to and that's it. Dude, I fucking tried so hard to not get frozen. Give me a break. Okay. 
<sighs> Yo, why is Razor so slow right now? What the fuck? Oh, that's whack. You lose MP if you just turn on it. Another woven hood. I still don't think that that... Um, I'm not sure if Pyra could wear it. I don't have the instructions out tonight. But I think the, uh, the tiara is still better. So that's just something to sell. How are we doing on inventory, actually? Oh, we're like full. Uh... Uh, sure? Wisdom seed. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll pop that soon. Alright, so not too bad as far as, you know, losing MP. Not ideal, but not the end of the world at the same time. <clears throat> this one's actually kind of an annoying fight. Gonna have to deal with these guys first. What? Milo didn't one-shot it? Kinda shitty. Let's just use our uh, wisdom seed now. So I went up there to grab the stuff. So yes, I do want to go down this way. Of course. <laughs> of course. there's a treasure behind me and of course if one wrong step and I pay for it oh yeah that's right we got bolt and freeze too now hmm I mean decent right would have been nice if Milo fucking hit one of them yo Razor is really slow it's actually kind of crappy. It's like he just like all of a sudden got super super slow. Or maybe he always was slow, I didn't notice, and then everything just started getting stronger and past him, you know what I mean? Luckily he's a tank, but it would have been nicer if he could just go a little bit quicker. Healer fruit, I mean, not bad. Oy oy oy. So, after we get through this annoying fight... If we go... Wait a minute. I think if we go up, it's back to where we just came from, right? Yeah. So if we go all the way down, it leads us towards a path that leads to the treasure chest that's locked behind a gate, which we're gonna completely ignore. We're gonna take the first path up. And then ultimately, I still don't remember what these things are. 
I'm pretty sure that you do interact with them at some point, but... It's been a minute since I played, so... Yep, again, you see the uh, sconces, that's always a... Always a hint that you're on the right path. Ooh, Pyro with the fucking one-hit KO, let's go. And Razor went up a level. Can his speed go up? Two, eh. Attack went up. Ooh, Milo leveled up as well. That was a very good random encounter for me. Detox level two. It was good. Gotta take out these guys first. But anyway. Uh, pretty much once we round this corner, we have a few more dipsy doos that we gotta do. <clears throat> and there's gonna be two chests to loot. One is uh, not in harm's way. And the other one will be... Um, Wait, did I go down? Did I grab those? I did. Yeah. So I only got two more ch uh, chests to loot other than the one that's stuck behind the gate. I was actually uh, going to comment about how I didn't get an encounter, and then when I did not think that I was going to get one, <laughs> I encountered it. Oh, come on. Thank you. That would have been really fucking annoying. Alright, Pyra. Fucking show me where we're at. Alright, so we are wanting to go... I'm going to want to turn... Probably right. I think. Yep. And then I'm going to want to turn... If I just turned right, I'd want to turn... Nope. Smelling salts, I mean, that's good. Especially considering, uh... The encounters that we've been getting. Okay, so our inventory's full. I'm gonna have to use a medical herb, which isn't a big deal, of course. Um, let's use an eraser. No, what the hell? Did I say item give? Hold up. Item use, I said. There we go. Okay, kind of saw that coming. Not a big deal. Just gonna attack. Alright. Hopefully we don't encounter too much crap here down the stretch, because I'm going to lose, like, all my magic trying to get this last chest, which is probably going to be a fucking troll. <clears throat> so I don't want to go down there. There, I think, is the... Thar. <laughs> there, I think, is the exit. And then... Up and around the corner... is where I went previously. And I got those chests. So down here at the end is where, um, let me check my status here, 39, I'm gonna top Milo off before I step on, but down here at the end is a chest that I want to loot, don't remember what's in it, and then I have to backtrack my way up, and hopefully we don't get too fucked up here, I'll definitely focus on the Hydrax. Then I think we're done with the, uh, Cave of Courage here. And then I think we- oh my god! Okay. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> well, I guess the good news is, is we- oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Dude, why are you missing and doing no damage? Eat my fucking- Please. Oh my god. We are getting fucked up right now. Holy shit. Please kill this. Oh my god. Dude, we almost got wiped right at the end. Can you imagine? And this is what I was afraid of, dude, because now I have to do the... Wow. We're basically gonna lose all of our magic as soon as we just fucking walk down here. Because I had to do fucking two heal twos because of that fight. That was a bad encounter, man. I guarantee you this is a fucking troll. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a troll, isn't it? 
All right, well, the only good news is we know that we have to focus our attention on this fucking shit. Let's use freeze, I guess. Don't unleash your hot air. Thank you. Somebody please kill him. Oh no. Alright, good. Fuck! Don't hot air me. Son of a bitch. Boy, that does a lot of damage. I mean, I could try running away, I don't know. Well, we're gonna have to pray to the RNG gods that we don't get bad RNG on the way back, cause uh... This is the last chest. Bronze shield, which, um... Oh, can I give that to... Hold up. Can I trade? I can. That's gotta be an upgrade, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. And then I just gotta make sure that I didn't take the wrong one from, uh, from Milo. Yeah, he's good. Alright. Uh, Alright, we just gotta backtrack and go down that one hallway. We're basically out of fucking magic now, so... Alright. Alright, I think we made it! Hey! You have done well, Razor. You have passed the trial of courage. If it be courage you seek, then step forward. I do. Razor returned to the entry of the Cave of Courage. Trial passed courage. Good stuff. So, let's go ahead and use our Angel Feather. Go back to town. We're probably going to end up touching base at the castle, but I ain't about that life at the moment. Uh, let's go sell some stuff first. Alright. So let me think here. That's fine, we're gonna sell this. And we're gonna sell... I think I'm gonna sell this just for inventory space. Same with the other herb. Keep the, the... Well, I don't remember what they're called right now, but healing seeds, essentially. I think it's healing fruit in this game. Gotta keep the smelling salts. Um, yeah, I'll definitely get rid of this as well. I think that's it. Uh, we're gonna sell the dwarf key. So I could always buy it back, it seems like, no matter what, because it was a uh, unusual item. Um, but as far as, like, stocking up on new weapons and armor, that's something I gotta think about, and I really don't feel like thinking about that right now. That's something that I'd rather think about off recording, and then, you know, be able to pop in and just buy shit right away. I don't have a ton of gold, um, so that's something to consider. But maybe if I can get another upgrade or two with, you know, the combination of buying and selling what I already have. Might be pretty good. Um, I just thought of, if I get paralyzed, if I have, like, the angel feather on Razor's person and he gets paralyzed, I can't even leave a dungeon. So that's why it's very important to have the smelling salts. Oh yeah, that's right, I also have the, the orb. I think I give that to somebody at the 
castle, or somebody at the castle tells me what to do with it. But, um... Anyway, my main concern right now... Oh, I didn't even check what that was, but whatever, I'm not really... I don't give a fuck. Alright, let's go to the tavern and rest at the inn for the night. And then we'll save. And I will think about what I want to do with the gold that I have currently. If I'm going to buy anything, you know, for a minor upgrade or if I'm going to save it for later. And then I believe we'll probably end up going to the castle. To touch base because since we past both of the, uh, the Cave of Strength and Courage will probably, um, give me guidance and advice to push on. I think we do have to do m You know what? I thought we were going into the Labyrinth, like the proper Labyrinth, but I think I'm incorrect. I think I have to do more tests, if I remember correctly, which, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Labyrinth proper, the caves, whatever. At the end of the day, it's a dungeon crawler, right? So it doesn't really matter too much. But, um, yeah, that's the game plan, people. And pretty happy with my progress this, this session as we laid the Cave of Courage to rest. <laughs>